Konnichiwa ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z fighting game retrospective where today we won't actually be looking at a fighting game, uh, sort of, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, today ladies and gentlemen we're looking at Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance, the final game for the GBA that I'm going to be looking at. May I just start off by saying that I absolutely love this game, like words cannot depict my love for this game. I was willing to play Taiketsu for this game. Enough said. <laughs> anyway, enough with the digressions. Now for Dragon Ball. You see guys, due to Dragon Ball games now being released in the West more frequently, they all seem to have a lot of regional changes. Especially the box art thing. Christ, this is the third game. However, similarly to Super Sonic Warriors, Advanced Adventure not only has a different box art, again, but also a couple of different music tracks within the game itself. The tracks in question are the intro song and the credits song, which, well, I'll let these clips explain everything. I think anyone with a frontal lobe will realize very quickly that the songs changed were Makafushigi Adventure and Romantic Ageryo, the original opening and ending theme respectively for the original Dragon Ball anime in Japan and in America. Why were these changed? You can't tell me it's because of licensing issues with the anime because the anime has English versions for these songs already. So the fact that these songs are made on the Game Boy Advance, you know, music chip, I don't see a problem why they need to be changed. There's nothing wrong with the songs that are in this game, but I just don't understand this change. Maybe I'm missing something? I don't know. I just don't understand it. Anyway, as you guys can no doubt tell, this game is a beat-em-up. I love the way how this game feels, as Goku's control is just really tight, for the most part. There are times where Goku's control can feel a tiny little bit slippery, but that's only sometimes. Goku and um, other fighters that you can play as in this game can do some really awesome things. Goku himself can kick ass with his mighty power pull, which works like a dream in this game, especially when you find upgrades for it. Oh yeah, that reminds me, this game is also a little bit of a Metroidvania. Haha, <laughs> awesome! Goku can also use his power pull as a means of platforming, as it also extends and sends him sky high. As well as ground stages, there are also flying stages, where Goku and Krillin ride the flying Nimbus, and there's nothing really different in these stages other than the fact that you're flying with the Nimbus under your feet. The gameplay itself is the same as in the stage. And speaking of the gameplay, the gameplay is your standard beat em up in normal stages. You guys remember the world tournament? Well, that's in this game. And whenever you get to a tournament level, it actually completely changes the game. In world tournament levels and free battle mode, once you unlock it, well actually no, you have it unlocked in the beginning, ignore me. Anyway, in world tournament levels and free battle mode, it changes it into a fighting game. While it's a relatively simple fighting game, it's still pretty fun and pretty damn awesome and kind of deserves its own game. The fighting system is basically out punching the other person's guard meter and then hitting them with a combo MVC2 style. I wanna take you for a ride. Ah, memories. I should probably do a video on that game one day. Anyway, good digressions. As well as the tournament stages, there's a free battle option, which I mentioned earlier, wherein you can play as not only Goku, but you can play as Krillin, Jackie Chun, the late Grandpa Gohan, Tien, Mercenary Tao, King Piccolo, and the unlockable character, Cyborg Tao, who technically doesn't come in until DBZ, so the fact that he's here is a weird paradox, but whatever. Dragon Ball Z games have been doing this since like, the dawn of time, so I, I've stopped caring. The battle mode isn't the main part of the game, but it's still technically its own little fighting game and I had to talk about it, so you know, that's why it's in this retrospective. So don't crucify me. There are also a bunch of mini games that you can play in this game as well. As well as this, like I said before, you can replay the game with Krillin and a bunch of other characters after fulfilling certain criteria. 
I love the gameplay of this game, but I think the thing that really sells this game for me is the aesthetics and soundtrack. Oh my god, I love this game's soundtrack. This game sounds so damn good. I love the songs. They're all so catchy. This game really nails the Dragon Ball look and feel with the looks and the sound design. Now, I'm not saying looks and sounds are everything that makes a game, but goddamn, it certainly helps. This game really nails the Dragon Ball look in my opinion, and in my honest opinion, is the best looking Dragon Ball game on the Game Boy Advance. It really has the Toriyama style, and I love it. I just wish this game had a sequel where you could play as adult Goku and the rest of the Z Fighters. Maybe we could get a sequel for this game on the 3DS that follows Dragon Ball Z and possibly even GT or Dragon Ball Super? Huh? Huh? I mean, Revenge of King Piccolo is kind of a spiritual brother to this game, seeing as you know it's the exact same concept, even has a world tournament battle mode, but we're not talking about that game, because we are not on Wii digressions. Anywho, absolutely love this game. It looks, sounds, and plays like a Dragon Ball fan's wet dream. Oh dear god, that's disgusting. I'm not the one who wrote the script. Leave me alone. Anyway, this game is really good. It really needs a sequel. Please, Bandai Namco. Heed this, because you guys definitely were listening to me when I said that we should revive the Budo 10 series and you made Extreme Budo 10. Please listen to me here. Revive this series. Give it a sequel. Anywho, guys, next time I'm going to, you know, do what I said I was going to do last time and actually begin looking at the PS2 DBZ fighting game. That's right. It's time for some Budokai. I'll see you guys then. Oh, wait, that means I'm going to have to look at Super Dragon Ball Z. Awesome! Z-Boy X8 out.